नमस्कार माय नेम इज गौरव कुमार एंड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सीरीज ऑफ पतंजलि योग सूत्र दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस और अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ द पतंजलि प्रेयर बट इन दिस वीडियो वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट डज द पतंजलि द लॉर्ड पतंजलि आइडल एक्सप्लेन्स फाइन सो एज यू कैन सी द लॉर्ड पतंजलि इमेज Find the idol. The idol of the Lord Patanjali is like this: that half body is like human, and the half body is like in the form of the serpent. There are the three and half coils of the serpent. So there are three or four basically important points to remember that there are three and half coils. These are the three and half coils. Three weapons. There are three weapons: a conch, a disc, and a sword. Fine. Hood and Namaskar Mudra. These are the one thousand hoods of the cobra at the head of the Lord Patanjali, and this is the Atmanjali Mudra, that is Namaskar Mudra. Fine. So, and the half man and half serpent shape. If you remember in the prayer, Abahu Purusha Karam Sankh Chakrasi Dharam Sahisra Sirsam Swetam Pranamami Patanjali Abahu Purusha Karam Abahu Bahu Se Lekar Ke Sar Tak Human Body Abahu Purusha Karam Sankh Chakrasi Dharam Sankh means conch, Chakra means this disc, Dharam hold in both the hands. सहस्र सिरसम स्वेतम सहस्र सिरसम सहस्र मीन्स वन थाउजेंड हुड्स ऑन दी हेड फाइन सो दिस इज बेसिकली विच एक्सप्लेन द शेप ऑफ लॉर्ड पतंजलि फाइन नाउ वील अंडरस्टैंड वट डज दीज दीज दिस शेप इंडिकेट्स सो इफ यू सी दीज थ्री एंड हाफ कॉइल्स फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड एंड हाफ कॉइल There is a particular meaning about it. If it, this this three and half coil also indicate that Om. That is also called Pranava Om. Pranava Om. A U Ma. Three syllable and one crescent. That that crescent symbolizes this half half coil. Fine. And it also in, indicates three gunas, rajas, sattva, and tamas. These through these gunas, and what does this half indicates? We reach to the guna dita state. Fine. In Om, if this is a U Ma three syllable, that was the crescent. Half coil was the crescent. Here, Sat Rajas Tamas. By culminating these three states, you we can reach to the last state that is Guna Dita state. Now, it also indicates three qualities of the God. What are the three? Qualities. These are the omni present, omni scient, and omni potent. It also symbolizes these three quality of the God. And these three coils also indicates the contribution. Of the Lord Patanjali. So, what what is his contribution? His contribution in form of grammar, medicine through Ayurveda, and yoga. So, grammar for speech, medicine for body, yoga for mind, and these three can reach to the state Kaivalya that represent this. Half. Kaivalya state. Kaivalya state. That is the 
last state fine now so that was about the meaning of this 3 and half coil now we we'll come to this sankh chakrasi dharanam sankh sankh means conch conch and it is basically the symbol of knowledge this is the symbol of knowledge and it it, it indicates the attentiveness the alertness which is required during the practice of the yoga so through attentiveness through alertness you can remove the obstacle in the path of the yoga so so why conch just remember just think about it why conch nowadays we use siren we use siren for the alarming situation but here at that ancient time conch being used to represent the attentiveness the alertness fine now we'll come to the disc disc is the symbol of the protection now what what is this protection this protection is basically symbolizes when you do effort in the path of the yoga you will be protected you will be protected with the grace of the lord patanjali fine this is the protection now the third weapon this is the third weapon third weapon is sword this sword represent that through the sword of the yoga practices you can remove you can cut down your ego you can cut down your ego or you can move from or you can move from agyana to gyana agyana to gyana so this is the third weapon now three and half coil done three weapons done now we will come to the hook and namaskar mudra so these 1000 hooks basically represent the protection protection from the adi shesha adi shesha is the king of the serpent king of the serpent adi shesha is basically the seat of the lord vishnu and lord patanjali was the incarnation of the adi shesha the king of the serpent so in the path of the yoga will be protected by the king of the serpent itself that means will be protected from the adi shesha itself but there is a condition why these two things are written together but there is a condition that you need to surrender and the symbol of the surrender is this namaskar mudra this namaskar mudra if you surrender to the god if you surrender yourself to the god then you will be protect, protected by the adi shesha the king of the serpent so it also indicates very clearly half men what exactly it indicates here what exactly it symbolizes here it symbolizes half men the individuality of a man individuality of a man when they do their effort in the path of the yoga now we we'll talk about this half serpent but half serpent basically symbolizes the movement movement with intensity with intensity that is also called that like tivra samvega nama asanna we will read about these verses in detail in in ne next lectures so serpent basically represent 
that you need to do your practice intensely intensely and silently and fast way these are the three qualities actually represent by the serpent head so you need to do your practice intensely repeatedly and silently fine hope you understand this thing now again at last there is a there is a verse in the in the samadhi pada most probably i think that's a 28th verse that also says ta japah tadarth bhavanam ta japah tadarth bhavanam that means if you repeatedly recite the name of the lord the name of the om the name or the prayer of this lord patanjali you will get you will go deeper and deeper into your practices hope you have understood the meaning of all the symbols and what does this idol represent